Hey guys, welcome back. It is Thursday, May 14th, I think. And we're getting close to reopening, I think. So in the anticipation of the new clinic reopening, I want to point out a few changes that will be taking place. It's going to be a different world now in the post-COVID pandemic healthcare field. So number one, everybody is super eager to get back and have their surgeries done. So all of you guys that are on standby, that have been canceled, being rescheduled, or wanting to book your new surgery with us, please know there will be new things that we'll be implementing. Okay, number one, the big problem we're still facing is lack of good testing. It is unlikely that we'll be able to test our patients before their surgery. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is here in Canada right now in Toronto. And so we have to assume that every person coming in is potentially COVID positive and take extra precautions to treat them as if they were COVID positive. We are going to ask all our patients that they quarantine themselves for at least five days before their surgical date. So for five days, please be super careful, wash your hands, don't touch your face, stay away from strangers, minimize contact with other people, strict social distancing to ensure that you don't catch anything in the short time before surgery. Should you happen to be COVID positive in those five days, hopefully it'll become obvious to us so that when you come and see us, we'll be able to screen you and potentially reschedule you for later when you recover so that we don't have actual COVID patients coming into our clinic. Next, after the surgery, plan on quarantining yourself for 14 days. So if you have a family member or friend that's going to be staying with you, ideally they will quarantine themselves as well with you to make sure that you don't catch anything in your recovery because you really don't want to catch a COVID virus infection while you're recovering from your surgery. One, it can complicate your recovery. Two, it can make the COVID infection worse. And three, just imagine you don't want to be going to a hospital uh, while you're healing from one surgery and potentially getting other problems from the hospital admission. Next, we're going to limit the number of visitors coming to our clinic. So you won't be able to bring a family member or a friend to come along with you. When you come to the clinic, you will come along and people, to the coming, people coming to the clinic will be limited. So for the foreseeable future, all our consultations will continue to take place virtually. There will be no in-person consultations. The patients that need to come in to be seen for an assessment before their surgery will come in, but we're going to limit this to people that are actually having surgery, not just people coming in for a consultation. So this will be after you've decided you're going to go ahead with the surgery. We will see in person, make final assessments. And then after surgery, we will see you in the initial phases when you're still healing. So we'll see you at one week and see how you heal and go based on that. But typically in the in the future, we will not be having patients come back to the clinic for future follow-ups. We will continue to do virtual follow-ups. So we'll do FaceTime or WhatsApp or other methods um, that will allow us to see you, but not in person. And finally, if you're one of the patients that has been canceled, please know we'll do everything possible to reschedule you. You guys will have the priority. You'll be the first people to have the surgery. Everybody else will come afterwards. It's going to be a matter of it's going to be complete chaos. We are going to do the best we can to accommodate everybody. But guys, please be patient. Um, we, we, I, I, I foresee it's, it's going to be chaotic and it's going to be a little slower and a little less efficient than it used to be because of all the new safety protocols that we have to implement. We will not be able to perform as many surgeries per day as we used to before. So that's going to slow down our progress. How, how that's going to go, I don't know. We will be implementing new protocols and it's... We're gonna learn as we go and we'll fine tune them as we go, but at this time it's difficult for me to predict what's, what's gonna happen. So for all of those of you guys that are really excited about the prospect of us reopening and hoping to get your surgery soon, please, very, very important, continue to practice social distancing, wash your hands regularly, don't touch your face, try not to catch COVID just before your surgery. Now, there are some people out there that don't think this is a big deal. They don't think COVID is a big deal. They think it's a hoax or just overblown, whatever else. Please know we don't really know much about this virus. It is a brand new virus. Corona is not a new virus, but COVID-19, this particular virus is new. We don't have a lot of experience with it. We're still learning about it. And we don't know what's going to happen if someone who is COVID positive, who may be completely asymptomatic, has no symptoms, goes to surgery, will the stress of surgery trigger your immune system to a point where your system gets overwhelmed? Will the virus get out of hand? Will people who are perfectly healthy and people that have no issue with COVID become really sick because of COVID? So we don't want you to have COVID. Don't try to catch COVID. Please stay safe.